हेलो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी विल स्टडी जोग्रफी चैप्टर टू इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द अर्थ्स इंटीरियर नाउ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज वी विल लुक एट द वेरियस लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ्स इंटीरियर सच एज the earth's crust the mantle and the core all right we begin very first with our earth our homeland is a dynamic planet man has always been inquisitive inquisitive means interested in finding out something about what lies in the interior of the earth a direct observation of the earth's interior has not been possible yet through various methods the scientist have tried to estimate about the interior of the earth to infer about the study of the materials coming out from the seismic waves and volcanic eruption is most important matter coming out of volcanic eruptions consists of hot magma gases steam etc when lava cools and solidifies igneous rocks are formed through these estimates of the study of temperature density gravitational force and pressure the interior of the earth was understood several earthquakes occur in various places on the earth every year and so seismic waves are generated these waves travel through the interior of the earth the study of their direction and velocity help us to estimate about the interior of the earth man has also tried to dig deep bore holes in the interior to know more about the same while going from the earth's surface to its core major changes occur in temperature and density density means density is measure of mass per volume with respect to these two elements the the earth's interior can be divided into following layers just observe the layer of the interior of the earth it's divided into three parts the first one crust the crust is again divided into continental crust oceanic crust the second one mantle mantle is further divided into two parts upper mantle and lower mantle the third one is core core is again divided into outer core and the inner core we will be studying in detail about the layers of the interior of the earth the first one is the crust the uppermost layer of the earth's surface is in solid state and is called the crust so you can see in the figure the uppermost surface of the earth see in the blue one crust it's on an average it is 30 to 35 km thick the crust is the thinnest of all the layers it is very thin compared to other layers the crust is very thin the layers of the earth 
just observe the figure you will see on the left hand side there is lithosphere lithosphere consists of crust and uppermost solid mantle then you can see mantle core again core has two parts it is in the liquid form as well as in the solid then you can see the upper side the orange color a sthenosphere a sthenosphere is a part of the earth it lies below the lithosphere between the lithosphere approximately the depth of the asthenosphere is approximately 80 to 200 km it is more hotter zone then observe to the right hand side the crust 0 to 100 km thick now we'll move on to the next and that is the crust is divided into two parts that is continental crust and oceanic crust observe the figure first we'll be studying continental crust continental crust the continental crust are mainly composed of silica that is SI and aluminium that is AL second it is called CL third the thickness of this layer is 30 km fourth gran granite rocks are mainly found in this layer we'll move on to the next oceanic crust oceanic crust is made up of silica si and magnesium ma second it is called sima third point the thickness of this layer is 7 to 10 km fourth point in this layer basalt and gabbro rocks are mainly found this layer is approximately 7 to 10 km the density of this layer is 2.9 g per cm3 to 3.3 g per cm3 we shall move on to the next that is mantle you can see in the figure on the right hand side with the reddish box mantle below the crust lies the mantle the mantle extends up to a depth of 2870 km second point magma chambers are found in the mantle through these chambers magma comes out on the earth's surface during volcanic eruptions fourth point this layer is also known as asthenosphere as i explained you before what is asthenosphere next one is the core the core starts from around the depth of about 2900 km from the earth's surface the part of the earth's interior extending from the mantle up to the center of the earth is the core the 
thickness of the core is about three thousand seven three sorry three thousand four hundred and seventy one kilometer. This layer can be divided into outer core and inner core. First, we'll study about outer core. Outer core extends from around two thousand nine hundred kilometer to five thousand one hundred kilometer. The outer core is in liquid state due to high temperature. Third point, the temperature of the liquid core is around five thousand degree Celsius. We have learned that. the outer core of the of the earth's interior is in a liquid state and the proportion of iron is more in this layer vertical current originate in this liquid layer this is another characteristic of this area the difference between the temperatures of the outer and in a core gives rise to vertical currents the earth's rotation gives them eddy eddy means a circular movement of water wind dust etc electric currents develop in these spiral eddies of liquid iron and thus magnetic field is generated it is sometimes called the geodyna dynamo geodynamo means it responsible for the generation of the earth's magnetic field this magnetic field of the earth is functional even outside the earth surface for quite a distance as a result a cover develops around the earth because of the magnetic field the earth's atmosphere is protected from solar wind so you can see in the picture the solar wind coming from the sun just observe the figure the solar winds which are coming from the sun the magnetic field thus developed around the earth is called magnetosphere this is the fifth and important sphere of the earth the next one is the inner core observe the figure you can see the red part is the inner core inner core is the fourth layer inside the earth the inner core is about 1250 km thick and is the second smallest layer third point it is solid metallic ball made mainly of iron and nickel therefore this layer is also called as nife nif ni stands for nickel and fe stands for iron as the material in this layer are under extreme pressure the inner core is in solid state the temperature here is almost equivalent to the surface temperature of the sun students in your geography notebook you will write the question answers from page 15 question answers are given further in the video thank you